My, my message is that we need to deeply look inside ourselves and ask us what kind of world we want to live in. The, the, the fact is now you have more information on your devices than you do in your own homes. And th this is a major change over the last several years. And so we're trying to raise the level of awareness and to ask countries all around the world to begin considering legislation uh, over what companies can do and what they can't do. Well, look, that's really interesting because it's an issue of great controversy, especially in the United States. Not so much here in Europe where they have a whole new data protection regulations. There's a lot more regulation here, presumably, of, of all your content than, than in the United States. Do you, wh where do you see the parameters of regulation? Because yeah. you've called for a federal regulation, right? Yeah, you know, usually I'm not a big pro-regulation kind of person. I believe in free markets. But, but I think we have to admit when a free market doesn't work and take an action. And in this case, it's clear that the amount of things that can be collected about you without your knowledge, maybe with your consent, although it's a 70 page legal piece of paper, uh, just is, isn't reasonable. And these things can be used for such nefarious things. We've seen examples of this over the last several years. And uh, we think it's time now to take this thing and put it under control because if we don't, the problem gets so large that it may be impossible to fix. Well, you actually were quite blunt in your speech today, just uh, on this issue. You're talking about profiles, people's profiles. Yeah. Your profile is run through algorithms that can serve up increasingly extreme content, pounding our harmless preferences into hardened convictions. And then you say we shouldn't sugarcoat the consequences. This is surveillance. That yes. is pretty... Um, that's pretty controversial. Well, it's the truth. And I, I, I always get back to that, is what is the truth? And I do see it as a crisis. I see, I see privacy as one of the top issues, the top few issues of this century. I mean, it's to that level. And because of the number of nefarious things that can happen, uh, and I, I advocate to put the user in control, completely in control of their data in a very transparent manner, and, uh, you, you know, we're, and there's a lot more behind that than that, but, but that's the spirit of it.